Okay, so today we're going to be showing you what equipment you would need for a venipuncture procedure. First, you will need a lab coat. Second, you will need some protective shoe wear. Also, you will need some gloves. Make sure that you have a biohazard sharps container and also a trash bin. Also, make sure that the patient has somewhere to sit or lay down in. In this case, we will be having an outpatient chair that has an armrest for the patient. This helps the patient relax their arm for the procedure and also will help the patient stop from falling in case of a sentinel event as fainting. Okay, so over here we have first the tubes, which is the main part of this whole procedure. Um, first, we have blood culture bottles. Okay, um, there are two types of blood culture collection bottles and they are anaerobic and aerobic. Aerobic would typically go first. Okay, next we have white tubes and yellow tubes. In which in them are Usually there are no additives in the white ones. Okay, mm -hmm. next in the order of draw, we will show you guys what tubes would be in your tube rack. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this right here would be a light blue tube. It would have sodium citrate in it. It is going to coagulation. Next, we have a red top tube. Now there are two types of red top tubes. We have glass ones and we also have plastic ones. The glass ones have no additives and the plastic um, have clot activators or nothing in them. Next we will have a gold top tube. These are SST tubes, serum separator tubes, so they will have the biotropic gel in them and clot activators. Next, we have a green top tube. These will inhibit thrombin, so therefore, um, they have the heparin in it, and they stop clotting. Next, we have a lavender top tube. These tubes have EDTA in them, and they are going to hematology. Next, on the order of draw, we have a pink top tube, and these will usually have EDTA in them as well. Okay, next we actually will show you guys the actual tools to be used for the actual procedure. So, first you will have your tubes, oh, not your tubes, your gloves. Make sure that they are tight so there are no out bubbles once again, okay? okay. Is it gonna help you protect yourself against any infections? blood or anything pertaining to that contamination for yourself and the patient as well. Okay, next. Another thing we're going to use is a tourniquet. Your typical needle. Make sure the needle has a safety device. This is a tube holder. So this is what you will be attaching to your needle. She will demonstrate how to do that. And just twist it on. Okay. Next, this is just an example. We have a green top tube and a light blue tube. Here we have some gauze to stop the bleeding after the procedure and also a band-aid. Here we also have alcohol wipes to sanitize the site before procedure. Make sure to do it in concentric circles. And that is all for your venipuncture procedure equipment.